What's up traders, Stan Glusman here with 7 Points Capital bringing to you today's trader takeaways. So let's take a look at SPY today. We had really, really choppy action on really tiny volume. So the volume is dropping as we are sort of drifting up a little bit. So we'll see how, we'll see how it reacts to this area where the doji candle is. Um, because this looks like an anomaly, a little bit of divergence here in the price volume. Um, so <clears throat> looks a little bit bearish to me, but uh, we'll see how it reacts uh, in the next couple of days. So let's take a look at some of the stocks we traded today. My first trade was in Apron. Um, this one had earnings. It gapped up, rallied stuffed and then went sideways uh, the offer got a little heavy there so I tried it on the short side right in this consolidation right after the lower high here shorted it probably half size maybe even less and then covered into the wash and uh, reshorted right here after this wick uh, covered into the wash and then this action right here was really interesting so there was a seller at 355 um, he started selling right here and then the stock drifted down and then it came back up went through he sold right into all this um, uh, all this volume and he stepped right back in and started selling it again so at 355 he was just sitting there so I actually shorted it um, I shorted it at first here and then I got I got stopped out for I think two cent loss and then once it reclaimed that 55 I shorted again and this time that was the big drop so this was a really really nice trade I covered everything into the wash and then I reshorted once it bounced and started to curl down and covered into the second big wash I think by here by this 35 level 335 I was already done and I left it alone pretty much for the rest of the day that was Pretty much, uh, I think my biggest, second biggest uh, trade of the day. Uh, my loser today was Cat B. This one gave me a lot of headache today. Actually, um, I started sh on the short side. First of all, if we look at the daily chart, every time, every time it pops, it gets sold right back down. So. Uh, this is a no-brainer probably has a bunch of bag holders selling into the volume so I started shorting in here um, into the second wick and then I started adding uh, once it cracked this level I added and then I added in here I believe and then I really got I got slipped a lot I had decent size and I took a pretty major loss on this uh, huge stuff and uh, my second trade on it was even more embarrassing I left it alone for a while and I'm like let me short into another stuff so once something like this happens and goes sideways I'm gonna start to short that um, risking above that so I saw it I saw the, this action right here it got they stuffed it on volume and I started shorting into the second wick and then adding once it starts to drift down I added here and I added here and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go take a walk. I don't want to be watching this. You know, hopefully when I come back, it'll be trading lower because um, I put a stop right above the previous high. And I come back, it's trading around this level or so, drifting down, and I'm all out, pretty much top ticked. So they ran my stop, and that was pretty embarrassing. What a rookie mistake. I mean, I should have had, I guess, smaller size and had a much wider stop. Um, but I got a little greedy. I went in full size, all in, heavy, and tight stop. So I paid for that mistake. And obviously, I top ticked it, and then the stock just collapsed uh, all day. I mean, that, that was a really nice what, 40, 40 or 50 cent drop. So... That is my biggest loser today. Really sucks to take this one. <clears throat> I usually make uh, all of my money. I mean, a lot of my money comes from uh, 
you know, these flying pigs, so to speak. Um, my biggest winner today was GRPN. Uh, one of the traders pointed it out to me that it's uptrending nicely. It was around somewhere here. It's actually reporting after market, so I would have probably been watching it anyway uh, for the close. So I started watching it probably somewhere here. Uh, there was a big buyer. I tried getting long. Um, the offer was pretty much instant on a lot of dark pools. So I started getting long, but they stuffed it in, and then here the buying. Uh, it didn't stop, but they really toned it down a notch, a few notches. So the buying slowed down a lot here, so I flipped it to short, risking high of the day. Had a pretty decent sized position, and the stock just collapsed. Uh, I think I took off 26, um, 26 was, was my out. It was... 359 so I know they're reporting I'm like you know what it might drop even lower but I don't want to get stuck um, I don't want to get stuck with a massive position so I started taking off 25 26 I believe was was uh, my out so that was uh, the best trade of the day biggest trade of the day um, probably could have had more size on that the quote was really thick it was really easy to get in and out so could have added on the way down but given the chop today um, I was playing conservatively um, although the size pr was pretty decent so uh, those are my takeaways um, I'm trying to keep the losers small so that's the name of the game for me right now I, I did some uh, I ran some stats on my trading uh, this year compared to last year you know these couple of weeks compared to you know, a couple of months before that and uh, I noticed that my big losers are getting bigger but my big winners are not getting bigger so I'm really trying to work on keeping my uh, losers small um, probably that's why I, I had the stop pretty close in cat B here uh, trying to keep it tight um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm working on, and these are my takeaways for today. Uh, pretty choppy day. So tomorrow we have reporting Groupon, Met, Met, Wu, IPG, Tck, um, Baidu. So we'll be watching those for tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video, um, share, subscribe. Uh, feel free to. Tweet at me, ask me questions at Chocana Trader. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.